Good morning, it's Thursday the 23rd of September, so we're on to show number 23. Um, I thought I'd answer another question this morning, and the question was just around um, that sh kind of sharp intake of breath or holding the breath on the uh, initial stage of um, going out to the cold, under the cold water. One of the important things to understand about cold water immersion is uh, the effect that it has on the body. And one of those very, very early, one of the very first physiological ref effects of cold water immersion on the human body is what we call the gasp reflex, so that kind of short, sharp intake of breath. Um, holding breath is really difficult on immersion in cold water and that's what can very quickly lead to drowning. So that's one of the reasons that immersion on cold water can be dangerous, the gasp reflex and the likelihood of intaking cold water into the airway, into the lungs uh, and leading to drowning. For more uh, bits and pieces about cold water immersion, I'll try and add some more stuff into videos as we go forward. So, but if you want to learn more about gasp reflex, um, Google cold water immersion and gasp reflex. Anyway, here it goes for shower number 23. So another thing it's worth understanding about cold water shock is that the effects of cold water uh, can and, and do pass in, in a matter of just a couple of minutes, 90 seconds or so. On immersion in cold water, remember the float message, if you can par get through that initial cold response after, like I say, only about 90 seconds, then you'd be in a much better frame of mind, breathing settled, less panic to plan. Plan the next move, plan a swim to safety or shout for help. That's it from me for today. Thank you very much. I'll look forward to seeing you tomorrow. Bye-bye for now.